you've downloaded an awesome plugin, and you've also been shared some cool presets. Now what? Plugins are cool, especially the free ones. And presets, who doesn't love a time-saving preset? I made a similar video to this back in 2023, but I didn't have access to a Mac, so could only share the experience for Windows. But thanks to my fellow Adobe community expert, Alexandra Abike, I can now talk you through installing both presets and plugins on either operating systems. Linux users, you're on your own. Which is kind of how I think you'd like it anyway. To install a preset on Windows or Mac, you need an FFX file. If you don't see an FFX file and see something like this, that's a zip file and you just need to right click it and choose extract. Also, please virus check everything you download from the internet. Close down After Effects if you have it open. For Windows, navigate to your Documents area, then open the Adobe folder. Open the latest version of After Effects. Here's 2025. Then open User Presets, and copy into here your downloaded FFX file. For Mac, Alexandra's recommended steps are slightly different. With one finder displaying your file, open another window, tab, Bextra finder. Hey, if I had a Mac, I'd know what to call it. Although, thank you, KC Luke, that commission went straight into my Mac fund. Anyway, in the second finder, navigate to Applications, the latest version of After Effects, then Presets, and copy the FFX file straight into that folder. Once there, when you start After Effects, you should be able to find the preset in FX and Presets. Most plugins these days come with their own installers. AE Scripts has its own manager program to help with this too. But there are some plugins, like Video Copilot's Color Vibrance, for example, that only comes as a download. For Mac users, you get to go first this time. When you extract the compressed file, you should find a folder. And in a second finder window, navigate to Applications, the latest version of After Effects, then Plugins, and drag the downloaded folder into here. For Windows users, open File Explorer and navigate to where After Effects is installed. In my case, that's the C drive, then Program Files, Adobe. And even though After Effects appears as an icon, it's actually a folder. So go ahead and open that. And then you'll find a folder called Support Files. And in there, you'll find a folder called Plugins. And here, you can drag in the AEX file from the download no need to drag in the other folder. And then just start After Effects as usual. You'll find the newly installed effect in Effects or Effects and Presets. Just before you go and check out Alexandra's channel, have you ever opened a project and got a warning that there's a missing effect? And then there's loads of comps and you can't figure out where it is. In the project panel, in the search bar, Click on the magnifying glass and choose Missing Effect. And then every comp that effect is in will show up. And when you double click on the comp to view it, the timeline will be filtered to highlight every layer with the missing effect. At that point, you can disable or delete the Pretermit Problematic plugin.